I, th I think we try to allow artists to be as free as they can be. A lot of great records have been destroyed by label involvement. Us approaching a label like this is very timely. Like, I mean, I don't think it would work if the music industry wasn't collapsing, you know? It's now possible for anybody to make an album and distribute it to the world. Like, those tools are available to anyone. However, that's resulted in there being a lot more music, and a lot of that is bad music. And I think one of the functions of a record label in this day and age is to curate music and help filter that. We can be trusted. I hope we are trusted. This is my goal, is to be a label that um, people can look to and, and trust that the music coming from us is quality. that we're based in Indianapolis, and uh, Indianapolis has a sort of afforded us the opportunity to have this label. I don't think Joyful Noise would have ever developed had we been based in a different city. Indianapolis has afforded us the opportunity over time to have a New York office, but if I had been based in New York, I never would have gotten there. You know, I think that Fountain Square is, is really, you know, the neighborhood that is really vibrant right now, artistically, culturally. It's very easy to, to be a creator here or to, um, to start your own thing. When we started doing things a little bit more crazily and, you know, why not try to reinvent how this industry is done? You know, we would do like a cassette box set for Joan of Arc. Uh, to my surprise, it sold out like right away. It was the situation where I was like, oh shit, I actually do have to hire somebody now because otherwise I'm just going to be packaging envelopes. <laughs> In the digital age of music, I think the physical qualities of the music is even more important. We did a uh, half-Japanese EP release the other day, limited to 174 copies. We did a lathe cut 10-inch with like three different spindle holes. It was a totally wacky design for a record. It was a thing that got people excited about that music, and a lot more people heard it than would have had we just released it digitally. There are tons of people doing just interesting stuff in this building all the time, and we wanted to be surrounded by like painters and sculptors and photographers, vintage clothing shop across the aisle here, you know, like uh, just, you know, being in close proximity to all of that helps sort of just improve our, improve our lives. Yeah, I mean, it's great being in this building. There's like four venues on this block that are doing really great shows, like almost nightly, and those are the best stories to tell, like, you know, you seeing this amazing band in this tiny little club. I mean, I think of Joyful Noise as a member of the community here in Fountain Square. I, I hope our involvement as a label has um, played some role in Indianapolis getting sort of a good cultural identity. Indianapolis is actually a really great place to live, especially for people that are interested in uh, music and the arts. This is uh, where we plan on staying. I mean, this is our home. <laughs>